Hi, this video is going to give you a quick orientation how to use Audacity in a, uh, a post-clinical chat with the Excel students. First thing you do is you'll notice that we're actually watching a chat right now. So I can turn the volume up down here. You'll be able to hear. Actually, Suzanne, you're probably one up on most of your peers because so many of them aren't able to do the vaginal and exam. So. You once, should be uncomfortable with that. Chat, it's actually great that you chat. did actually, get to have that one experience. Actually, what you do before you begin your chat is you just go right down here to your start button on your computer, and you would left click, and you'll okay, notice you'll find the audacity. You left click the audacity, you pull it up. Once it pulls up on your screen, um, you see the box here. You're going to make sure you got your volume set properly on your chat. I'll show you down here on the bottom right. You can adjust your volume. You in the room, what you need for the baby, you know, if the baby's a little a little earlier. And, you know, it's up to you how, how you want to have it done. But like I said, you're not going to be wearing your headset or your or your microphone when you're recording the chat. You're just going to be using your built-in like mic that, on your laptop and your speakers on your laptop. A lot of setups so with um, set up for other nurses because we'll be, you know, with a baby nurse or help out. Um, something that I'm uncomfortable with is, like Suzanne just said, pull the audacity back up. A couple and you'll notice right here to record um, is the, is the do little well record button. You see how this pops up when you do that. Because, you know, I click it, really know you notice it starts recording. I'm going to turn like up the volume here. Um, examples, which feel nothing like what we're looking at, but um, she usually waits, you know, for me to do um, no, do it after an epidural so that it's an uncomfortable process so the mom's a little bit more comfortable with it. But um, So I'm going to so turn that back example, down. I really so you can hear it. it is, it's recording what's going on on the screen. It's probably recording my voice too right now. Um, but then when you're finished, the chat's all over. You go up here to the square, and you would left-click the square, and that stops the recording. Once the recording is stopped, now do not close this box here yet. Don't close it or you might lose the recording. You go immediately after you stop the recording at the end of the chat. You go up to File. You left-click File. Go down to Export. That's the one. Export. Click on Export. And where do you want to export it to? Where do you want to save it? I think I'm going to save it in my system folder. My folder, it's marked with my name. That way I know where it is. So I'm going to double left click that. And it's going to go right in there. You can set up a folder if you want. Uh, a new folder anywhere you want to, to save your chat recordings if you like. But otherwise I just put it in here. And then I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it, let's say, uh, mental health chat. I'm going to start with chat because then I can look at it, look for it under the C's chat that mental health, let's say, and then uh, go ahead and date it 11. Uh, let's put 16 because I don't know the date right now. 16 and then 2012. And then once you have it named, make sure it's an MP3 file. You'll notice you have a bunch of different choices for files. Make sure it's marked MP3. Mine always defaults to MP3 because it's set like that. Just make sure you set yours that way too. Click on save. So then you'll notice you get another screen. This is in case you're saving a song and you want to uh, go ahead and name it and do all the tracks and things like that. I just ignore that. I click on OK. And so then you'll notice right here it's exporting the entire file into that folder. Yours is going to be much longer because the chat's going to be over an hour. I only recorded a couple of minutes of it. Once it's been exported, it is now an MP3 file in your folder. It's in my Thomas my Thomas J folder, so I know where it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that up, though, just in case, uh, just to make sure that it's in there. You'll notice I pulled it up. I'm going to look for chat, C-H-A. There it is, right there. See it? Chat. So now I'm sure it's in there. I can go back to my original Audacity screen. I'll go back to Phoenix Viewer 2. Back to my original Audacity screen. And at this point, I know I have the file saved in my folder. I'll exit out. It's going to ask me if I want to save a copy of this in the Audacity program itself. Now, since I know I have the file exported, I don't have to do that. So I click No. It closes it out. And there we are, right there. Um, the file is in my folder. Right there. If I double left click on it, from the perspective of click it, a male opens it up, starts recording, I'm starts turn recording, the starts here. playing. There it is. No. Um, and then that, I would, uh, the labor and for once you save it for me, I would go ahead and uh, uh, put it in our arch archives and keep it. You can transfer it to me either on a flash drive or next time you're in the university, you bring your computer in. I just transfer it onto the 
onto the archive lacy drive